Hi, this is Laura Roeder from GetTheDash.com, and today I'm showing you how to create a new webinar using GoToWebinar. So we, when you first log in to GoToWebinar, it likes to confuse you by taking you to the My Meetings screen. You don't want to create a meeting that's for a very small group. You want to create a webinar. So the first step is to click on My Webinars on the left-hand side. There's a little blue flower next to it, and then click on Schedule a Webinar. It's going to take you through a three-step process. I'll explain what everything means. Uh, the first step is just to enter your webinar name and description, and then schedule the webinar right here. Choose your time zone, choose if it's reoccurring, and then you'll choose your audio options. This is the audio for how your listeners are going to attend. You can choose telephone, meaning people call in, or VOIP, voice over IP, meaning your listeners use their computer's microphone and speakers. I like to use both to give people the option, or if you're more advanced and high tech, you can provide your own conference call number. Both is the easiest solution. This is where you check if you want to require a password. You can skip this panelist thing in most cases, save and continue. Now is where you design your webinar theme and waiting room, so they have a few options for you here, business, basic, PR, sales, training. I like the training one, it's got a nice green design. You can also click here to upload your logo or click here to upload a custom image. They also allow you to customize your waiting room where people are waiting for the webinar to start with some custom colors. You can also enter your name as a presenter here. This is totally optional. Another optional thing is to enter a welcome message that attendees see when they arrive. And you can preview these by clicking preview theme and preview waiting room. Again, this entire section is optional. You don't have to customize anything under to branding and theme. You'll hit save and continue and move on to the final step three, which is registration. Uh, the default requires a lot of information from people, from webinar attendees. I see a lot of webinars requiring a full address, and I think the reason is that's just the default and go to webinar. But you probably don't want to require this much information, so go ahead and hit clear all. The more info you require from people, the less people are going to sign up for your webinar, and you probably don't really need their mailing address. You just need what's required, the first name, last name, email address. So I recommend that you hit clear all and only require these top three things. You can also use these fields to create your own questions, either a checkbox question with answers or a longer question. Down here, after registering, you can let people register automatically, which is probably what you want to do, or you can approve them manually, which means they sign up for the webinar, then you say, yes, I approve, then they can attend. You probably want to choose automatically. You can also type a URL here, some sort of thank you for signing up page, that you create if you want to send people to a custom page or you can just leave all this stuff as the default. Then you're done. You're going to hit save and email me the invitation. GoToWebinar will email you the invitation and I used to think that I had to click email me the invitation whenever I wanted that link. So your invitation contains the link that you're going to send people to sign up for your webinar. But there's an easier way to get the link. You can actually get it right from the screen by clicking on this little yellow button. It's very hidden, I'm not sure why. But you click on the yellow button that's next to the start time of your webinar and it'll give you the registration web link. This is the link that you copy and paste to send people to sign up for your webinar. So you go through, you create the webinar, and then the way that people sign up is that you provide them this link right here, the registration web link. Again, you can find it by clicking on the little yellow arrow little yellow plus sign next to your webinar. Again, this was Laura Roeder with getthedash.com.